Hello guys, welcome back. Uh, or welcome, if it's the first time. Uh, Brew with a view. Uh, today I'm on day two of my uh, Penwith Southwest Coastal Park walk. Uh, and that is from Zena to Cape Cornwall, of course, and just at my, my end point. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can hear me over the water there. Uh, beautiful little waterfall there. Twelve miles, I think. Um, so, uh, other other than beautiful coastline, uh, the viewpoints, as far as I'm aware, uh, will be the Pendine Lighthouse, uh, Botanic Mines will be the main bit, and obviously the Cape itself. Um, yeah. Again, if the if the wind stays off, I'll get the drone up and show you some extended views. Uh, going according to the guidebooks so the path's going here um, so yesterday St Ives Zena was classed as a strenuous today is classed as a strenuous as well apparently and longer so that'll be interesting um, yeah it's already like walking over a boulder field oh I shouldn't complain because it is absolutely stunning um, yeah so uh, is there anything exciting other than the lighthouse and the tote mines to show you other than views obviously i will stop and show you otherwise cue some music um, and what the water looks like okay see you in a bit hi so about two mile two and a bit miles in uh skernard's head over there and then down here Dream Cove, little beach there. Not pretty. I'm at Boswedenac, apparently. Yeah. Little house down there as well, it's quite pretty. Imagine living there. Well, you probably can't see it, but just down there there's a little rubber, rubber dinghy I've got hung up on the cliff walls as well. I guess they uh, take me out to get to there. Bigger boat, yeah, very pretty. I'm guessing, just thinking about people that have dogs. <coughs> that beach looks really pretty down there. Um, and that will be a beach that uh, you're allowed dogs on. There's a lot of them around here, you're not. I suppose if you're a dog walker, what better than an hour's walk, a couple of miles along the coastal path to a dog friendly beach? Um, little tip there if, you, if you've got a dog and you want to come to Cornwall in the summer. Nice, but obviously you need to bring your food and water though. There's nothing down there. Sounds like heaven to me. Right, carry on round going head. See you in a bit. So, I'm not sure exactly where I am, but I'm about four and a half miles away from Pendine Point, as you can just about make out there in the, in the sort of hazy. Yes. Yeah. So, see how long it takes me to get there.
Look at this guy here then. Can you see him? Right in the middle. Crazy. So, still a few miles to the lighthouse. So I'll start and show you where we are. So that is Bossy Gran. Bossy Gran? Not sure. Uh, so, I just showed you a few images there a minute ago. There's some guys rock climbing here. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Embarrassing moment here with someone who you think you're videoing by yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is some rock climbing people down there. Um, and if we come down here, there's a little um, old ruined hut thing there. This looks like it could be quite a nice place for a world camp. Obviously, seeking the owner's landowner's permission beforehand. Beautiful spot, lovely bay there. And it looks like there's a little river running through there as well, under a bridge. It's a good spot for some water as well, which I'm going to top up myself in a minute. Water fills are obviously beautiful with all the heather and all the flowers and the rocks. And the turquoise sea just down there. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Right. Onwards to the lighthouse. See you in a minute. Guys, uh, seven miles in now. Um, that's what they show you that. That's uh, Pending Watch, Porthorus Cove there. Nice looking spot as well. Again, I think that's a dog friendly beach, so a nice one. Looks like there's a car park up at the lighthouse, so if you want to take it easy and just have a view, um, park up at the uh, lighthouse and walk down to the beach here. It's nice. Love to go for a swim, but time is on the is on my side today. I've got to get a bus at the end of the walk. It's in just so uh, I need to crack on really, which is a bit annoying. So I want my trunks, and that looks really inviting. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd show you that, and I'll see you up at the lighthouse in a minute. You know, I said see you at the lighthouse, but I lied. I couldn't resist this. I think you're going in. Oh, that's nice. Oh. One lighthouse. And we have come so far. Just past, that's Gurner's Head. The Zeno was the next thing around there, but only like a mile and a bit around from there. Right. 
onwards to Cape Cod. Not Cape Cod, God, that was too far. Cape Cornwall. See you in a bit. Here we go. Hello. 15 minutes out of sight of Pending Watch. And that's the Levant Mine that's in front of us now. Alright, guys. Uh, made it to the Botanic Mines finally. It's coming a bit and it's a bit windy if you can hear it on the camera. Um, so I was going to stick the drone up but firstly this is apparently within the flight path of Land's End Airport so um, I'm not supposed to fly over here anyway although I've first seen people take them off elsewhere and bring them over here. Mine's only small, I'm fairly new to it so I don't really want to do it. So just google metallic lines, aerial footage and you'll see it's stunning. Still pretty in this weather, but much nicer in the sunshine. Hello again. Right, we're here. Cape Cornwall, not Cape Cod. Got to have a bit of a swim involved to get to that one, and certainly not in today's time scales. Uh, so yeah, Cape Cod, beautiful. I wouldn't mind buying that house for one of the lottery. Imagine living there, stunning. So it's about 11 and a half, 12 miles today. First seven, pretty tough going actually. A bit like uh, the Zen uh, St Ives walk. Um, so it's taken me about five and a half, six hours to do this stretch. Uh, so yeah, so my feet are achy. Uh, it doesn't help that I'm trying these, some of these barefoot shoes as well on these stones. That's probably, uh, that's my excuse for my aching feet anyway, and I'm gonna stick to it. So, uh, thanks for watching, hope you stuck to the end. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Idea is just to show you a bit of some of the spots you can get to in England and just get your time away. Like I say, probably the view, time to relax, just take it all in. You don't have to do the walk, you can just drive up and just stare at one of these spots. Just thought I'd show you what possibilities are. There's car parking near here, so you can just come here and stare at the Cape Cod. Uh, Cape Cod, I keep going to do it again, aren't I? Cape Cornwall, <laughs> uh, Pendine Watch, another place. Oh, uh, there was that beach I mentioned earlier on as well that you can walk to from the lighthouse. So lots of lovely spots you can drive to and it's just a short walk to get a lovely view and just, just relax really, just take some time out. And that's the important thing for the old grey matter I think. So, so thanks for watching, if you enjoyed it, if you think it's helpful, please give us a like, please give us a subscribe. I'm not used to saying that, but everyone else does seems to. So um, next video, or well, my next leg on this particular journey will be back here tomorrow, Cape Cod to Porth Kerno. Apparently it's a lot easier going. I hope so. Uh, so if you fancy catching that, check out the next video on that one. Um, there'll definitely be some more brews and more views. Till then, thanks a lot guys. See you later. So I just thought I'd show you the, the route for today uh, on the map here now. So that's Penwith on the OS map. Uh, to give you an idea of where we are, this is St Ives over here. And down here is uh, Penzance, that's Michael's Mount. So the walk today, we started off at Zena, which is here. And there's the uh, pub at Zena. Walk down towards the coastal path, and along here around to Dream Cove. So that was the first view we had there with Gunn's Head here as well. It's probably about just over a mile. Took our way down to Porthmore Cove, um, along here, down to Bossigram. So Bossigram is where we saw the uh, rock climbers, etc. Really pretty place there, actually. Lovely place for a little spot for a wild camp, as I mentioned on the video there earlier on. If you get permission from the landowner, etc., you do the same as apply, but really, really pretty there. Um, and then do -do 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 follow the uh, path down here. Um, and then we've got uh, Porthrest Cove, so that's where I stopped for my uh, brew, for my little um, dip in the water there. So there's a little stream coming down here, uh, just to the uh, east of the bay here. So that's where I stopped and have my little rest and our chocolate. 
Um, and then off up round to uh, a pending watch, that's where the lighthouse is. And then along here, blue, 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 blue. Uh, that is uh, Levant Mines. So that's the first set of mines you see as you come out of uh, pending. So on, on the video there, that with the mines in the distance. And then we go a little bit further down to um, the Vitalik Mines down here by Vitalik Head. Uh, really pretty National Trust place. Um, you can drive there and park there as well, near, near there as well. That's really worth visiting. And then down towards uh, Cape Cornwall. Um, there's a little bit of a valley here which is quite pretty. So there's different ways you can walk around the valley, etc. etc. And you can also come and park up at Cape Cornwall as well. And then to complete my walk, I ended up walking uh, through the fields down to Johnson just to get the bus back to my accommodation for the night. Okay. Hope that's useful guys and uh, catch you on the next one.